guys, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on my go-to makeup brands. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So this video is gonna be a collab and the collab was created by Lori from It's Lori's Life. And if you don't know her, you definitely have to check her out especially if you're into high-end and luxury makeup. She's always gonna have the newest and the latest, greatest of anything that's luxury and high-end is gonna be on her channel. So if that's your cup of tea, you definitely have to go and check her out. And there's also many more ladies in this collab. All of their links will be below. Definitely go and check them out once you finish my video. But during this video, I'm pretty much gonna talk about all of my go-to brands from um, from each category of makeup like eyeshadow foundation eyelashes I think you get the picture so I thought that this would be a really fun collab to do and I'm really excited about doing it so with that being said I'm gonna start off with my favorite category and for those of you all who know me and know me well you all know that it's eyelashes and when I think of eyelashes I think of a velour lash Lashes. And let me just show you how much I love their lashes. Ah, these are all of my velour lashes. I absolutely love these. I love the style. I love how well they last in between wears. I like how when you go to clean them, they don't rip apart on you. Um, even uh, something as simple as when you initially go to take them off of the tray, they don't rip on you. They're just really a good brand. They are kind of on the pricey side, but I think that they're well worth it because if you're good to your lashes or these lashes, they will definitely be good to you um, and also this really doesn't have anything to do with anything plus the packaging is really nice on them but yeah when I think of eyelashes I'm thinking of velour eyelashes all right so gel eyeliners and my go-to brand for gel eyeliners is ink lot ink lot y'all probably already know what I'm gonna say ink lot number 77 this is the best the best gel eyeliner i think it's been around for 100 years i don't know but it is so good it dries matte um, it's very creamy it's black it's not almost black kind of be black want to be black it's not it is a black eyeliner that dries matte it will not let you down if you're looking for a gel eyeliner like that this is the one you need to buy you need to press pause on the video you need to go buy it and then you need to come back <laughs> to the video because you will love it um this is my go-to brand for gel if i even if i wanted to like get into you know other shades or whatever i would pick ink lot like if i wanted to do some serious you know no playing around type of looks with other gel shade, uh, shades or whatever, this would be hands down what I reach All right, so next let's go with eyeshadow. And my go-to brand for eyeshadow is Natasha Denona. And for me, Natasha Denona just hands down has a solid formula. Now, some people may argue that the formula is different across her eyeshadow palettes, and I totally agree with you, but for the palettes that I own, I feel as though the formula is solid it works well for me I especially love the formula on all of her metallics and her shimmers um, I think that her mattes are very blendable again even though her formulas tend to be um, not consistent um, I like all of the formulas for example the formula that she has in this large palette would be different from the formula in her $65 pan palette and even her $100 $29 palette um, but yeah when I'm thinking eyeshadow for me my go-to brand is hands down Natasha Denona all right so the next category is lipsticks and for me my go-to brand for matte creamy matte lipsticks are Huda's bullet matte lipsticks I love this formula I'm almost finished with these little two bullets right here. <laughs> and actually I would love to have every shade. The reason that I like her bullets so much is because the formula is so creamy. For it to be a matte, it's like 
a creamy matte. It's very pigmented and they last a long time. And it's just a really beautiful formula. And you can go and look on my Instagram page. Even if you go and look at Get Ready With Me's, I'm always grabbing these two little bullets that I have. And I know you're like, girl, if you like them so much, why don't you have more than two? But anyway, these are definitely my go-to lippies. All right, so the next category is foundation. And for foundation, my go-to brand is Clinique. I have several Clinique foundations and I pretty much grew up on Clinique. I even have, of course I have their liquid foundation. I have some of their powder foundations as well. Overall, I know we're not talking about overall, but <laughs> overall Clinique is a very solid brand and for foundations, they just tend to, um, in my opinion, have a better formula for my skin type and what I'm looking for. And that's why when I'm thinking who's my go-to brand for foundations, hands down, it's gotta be Clinique. And historically, I never really have been a blush person, but at this moment in time, my go-to brand would be Alomar. Um, I think a lot of people got this in BoxyCharm. I don't get BoxyCharm. I was watching Niecy J's BoxyCharm video and I think she put it um, in her, I think she had it. That's probably where I saw it. And I was like, oh, I like that. But anyway, look at these shades. They're really pretty, brown girl friendly, and they look absolutely gorgeous on my skin tone. And you get three shades. All three shades are gorgeous. And when I think of blushes and who my go-to brand is, like what am I gonna pick or what am I gonna go to when it's time to step and get out the door where I'm gonna look right, no matter what, it's this little baby right here. All right, so the next one is a face powder. And my go-to brand for a face powder is By Terry, and this is their Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. And let me tell you all, if you are a person who likes powder, but you really don't want a drying powder, so drying to where it's gonna suck up everything out of your face, I would definitely try um, their Hydro Powders. They're very thin finely milled, look beautiful on the skin, blend very well. I have it in two shades, uh, 300 and 400. And you know, those shades I think work really well for my skin tone. Also, when I take pictures with this, with those two shades, I don't get that weird flashback looking type of thing. But mainly, you know, it's my go-to brand for powders because they work so well with my skin type. And I don't know if it's because it's a hydro powder a hydro powder or with hyaluronic acid you know that could be some of it but hands down when I'm thinking powder I'm, I'm going to get a by Terry powder because so far they're killing it out of all the powders that I have in my collection the next category is brow pencil and elf is my go-to brand for eye pencils. And I say that because this one is so affordable. It glides on easy, it's pigmented, it doesn't smear, you know, it doesn't do all of that crazy stuff, and it lasts a long time. These are really good for the price. So from, I mean, yes, I do have a lot of um, other brow pencils that I enjoy, but I think that what makes this um, what's an added bonus, you know, that just kind of makes it my go-to brand is that it's super affordable. So you're getting like a great brow pencil for a couple of bucks. So yeah, when I'm thinking brow pencil, I'm keeping it simple and we're gonna go with e.l.f. All right, so next is concealers and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer is my go-to brand. Anytime I'm in a rush, I gotta get it done right, I gotta get it on, I don't want any confusion, I need the color to be right, I need everything to be right, everything. <laughs> I, don't, I, can't, I, don't, I don't have time to play. It's this Makeup Forever Concealer. Guys, if you all haven't tried this, you definitely have to try it. And if you don't use a lot of it, it will, it is a self-setting concealer. Now, if you go in ham, like I have been known to do, and for any of you all who have seen any of my Get Ready With Me's, you all know I kind of go ham with the <laughs> concealer under the eye. But if you do that, then yeah, you're gonna have to set it. But if you use like, you know, just put the normal amount that you're supposed to put just to cover up dark circles, like a dot, 
like three dots right here, you know, under your eye, it's gonna set itself. Um, this is really good. I love this. I'm almost finished with it and I will definitely be purchasing more, but this is what, this is the one thing that's in my drawer out of all the concealers. And I feel like I have a lot of good concealers that work well. This is, you know, when I want it to work right every time, I'm grabbing for this makeup forever concealer. All right, so my go-to brand for highlighters are MAC. And I know you're like, oh, no, she didn't. She skirted on back old school. So, you know, I'm just gonna talk about the, the famous one, the gold deposit. And I think that every brown girl probably has gold deposit. I have quite a few of them and they work really well. They blend in really well. They play well with other powders on my face. You know, they're not, um, they're, they're not glittery. They're not metallic. They're just, they're just right. They look right. You know how some, some highlighters, some highlighters do not play well with other powders on your face. And all of the MAC highlighters that I have, um, really work well. They're really pretty. And yeah, my go-to brand for a highlighter, MAC, hands down all day, every day. And for mascaras, it would have to be Benefit. And Benefit has some really good mascaras. I have the Roller Lash and the, what is this, the Bad Gal Bang. Really, really good mascaras. I think they are worth the price. I also like how the, um, what is this, the Roller Lash. Um, this one works really well on my lower lash line because of the brush. And the Big Bad, the Bad, what is this, Bad Gal Bang. This is another one that has like an interesting type of bristle, but I like to use it on my um, upper lashes. And even though most of the time I'm wearing falsies, but you know, the few times that I'm not, I really do like this. And Benefits mascaras are really good and have always really worked great for me. All right, so the next category is bronzers and my go-to brand. I absolutely love their bronzers and this is by Jouer. This is their duo bronzer, Sun Glow and Sun Glaze. This is the one where it has a little two shades in it. Of course, you can see you got the darker shade right here and the little bit lighter shade right here. And these two shades are so beautiful on my skin tone. Whenever I just need it to be done right the first time, um, no matter what foundation I have on, even if the shade of my foundation is a little bit off, this particular brand of bronzers is always going to, you know, just make it look right. It's very smooth, buttery, just really perfect. And what I especially like about their brands of bronzers is that um, they're not too red and they're not too neutral. It's like they're perfect. And I don't know if they're just a perfect shade for my skin tone um, or if, if, if anybody else feels like that, but hands down. Plus the packaging is so stinking cute. Of course, you know, that's not really relevant. We're talking about the product, but my go-to brand for bronzers, this is who I'm thinking. If I so that's it. Those are all of my go-to brands for all of the makeup categories out there. So let me know, are any of your go-to brands the same as mine? Let me know. I would love to hear about it. Also, don't forget to go and say hi to all of the beautiful ladies in the collab and tell them I sent you. So thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.